So yeah, as you guys can tell, you, I mean, it looks like we're moving. Um, and I'm one thing like that I'm really excited more than anything about this move is that the house that we're moving into is so bright. Like, um, not like just the walls, but there's windows everywhere, which was something that I really wanted because the house that we're in now, you see this kitchen, first of all, when you walk in the house, there's the living room, a dining room, and then the kitchen. Everything is so, like, blocked off. We are in a middle row home, which our new house is the same. It's where We purchased the town home, but it's, like, in the middle. But the only thing about this house, for some reason, it has way more lighting. And it's a little bit more open floor plan, which I really wanted. I wanted the kitchen and the dining room to be more connected and in the living room connected at the same time so like as a, a mother you know I can see everything that's going on with the kids and then um we have a basement at this house that's usable um so I'm really excited about that we have like a separate laundry room which is really exciting because when I do laundry I'm doing like laundry from my dining room and my hallway kitchen which is you know, you know, it's just annoying when we have company. But overall, I'm grateful that we had a house. Because um, if you guys, we've never really explained, like, I've never really shared my story. But um, about the whole, like, our journey with our houses and everything, which I really would like to eventually. And by the way, if you guys would like to know about my husband and our journey, like, from when we first got married and, like, the whole how buying a house ties in with us like renting and all that like if you guys would like to know about our journey let me know in the comments below um and i'll definitely see to it that we talk about that and you know give our testimony on that but um yeah i'm just like i'm so ready and i just can't wait i'm so excited i'm trying not to be anxious but i'm trying to just be like lord i'm just i'm gonna enjoy right now you know this because when we're gone in the new house it's going to be like a whole new journey so i'm really excited about it and um, we are so close to being finished packing so yeah and um i mean i don't really know what else to say right now so i guess i will update you guys tomorrow and talk to you guys tomorrow Good morning. Um, this morning we are finally moving. I thought it would be really excited, but I'm actually really tired and I'm not really in the mood to like do anything because I'm so tired. But once I get a coffee, this voice will clear up and I eat. I should be good. But we're about to get rid of some of the kids because we need. Not me, though. I'm helping the news. But, yeah, so, um, I guess I'm a vlog during the day. I tried to vlog yesterday, but it just wasn't happening. I was tired, and I'm still kind of getting used to this, like, trying to remember to, like, pull my camera out to vlog. Like, I'm usually in the moment, and I'm not really thinking about showing anyone. So, um, right now we're just at McDonald's, and... I'm getting a coffee so I can wake up and we have to go like pick up our U-Haul truck and then we are going back home to get started um oh no actually we go to sign this morning for the house so it's kind of crazy because we're gonna go sign for the house and move the same day so it's a lot most people sign you know and then they go out and celebrate and then they move into the house but we need to hurry and get out. And we're kind of like just done with where we live at. Um, it's kind of like a bad neighborhood. We got neighbors that are not always so accommodating. Um, and it's just a little uh, tiresome now. Um, so we're just ready to go. So yeah, um, I will see you guys sometime during the day. to come to the mall for a little bit to wait for our uh, thingy where you have to like 
sign for the house or whatever. The settlement, so. We, they had to like push back an hour because um, they're like waiting for the title people and the bank to let us know something. I don't know. So we're just waiting. So it might be, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but right now we're just waiting. And we came here to the mall, Columbia Mall, to just walk around and waste some time, I guess. So I'll keep you guys updated and let you know what's going on. Well, are you excited for today? Yes, we're moving today, finally. What's, what's so exciting to you about it, about this experience? The bathroom and the room and that's it. What? Oh, the, um, the basement too. I'm talking about just moving in general. Do you, need, do you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that saying, uh, like, what it, what is exciting to you about moving? Um, like, moving on to, like, a new area. Oh, and... because the backyard. Okay. Because we, we get to play basketball. And we get to walk to school. And the school is, like, across the street. I know. That's the awesome part. I'm excited about that. They won't have to do no long walk when it's cold outside. We can just go straight wait, to the school. Wait a second. Uh, do we get to walk by ourselves? No. Wait, it's a good neighborhood though. Wow. Yeah, but it's not. I, I don't still. It doesn't matter sometimes how good the neighborhood is. I still don't feel comfortable with you guys just walking to school by yourself. I don't think it's safe. Until you get to like middle school age. Maybe. Maybe like eighth grade. What? <laughs> I can't fifth grade. Mm -mm. As kids can still get kidnapped when they're in high school. I don't feel comfortable. I'd rather be with you guys and make sure that you're safe. In middle school, you probably be able to walk. That's when I was, was able to walk home. But if we're yeah, still but, living but there, you had to walk. You had to walk with um, somebody, like yeah. your friends or something. And yeah. if your friends don't walk with you, that means mom's walking with you. <laughs> but for another me, thing is that. Another thing is that um, that school over there, she said you guys catch the bus. So you wouldn't be walking to school. The middle school, you have to catch the bus to. So they would come pick you up. Wait, but school is like across the street. No, that's the elementary. We, we just got uh, here at our realtor's office. Um, we're about to go sign the paperwork for the house. And get the keys. And I'll let you guys know how it goes when we finish. Did you move that? The papers are forever. Got anything to say, huh? Yes. yes All right, bye. <laughs> guys, it's official. We just signed and got our little keys thingies, our little key houses. They're so cute. How do you feel, babe? I feel amazing. Right. And later yes. on, yes, later on we're going to talk to you guys. Um, just give a, a few pointers and encourage, you know, for whoever's watching this and wants to purchase their first home, just some encouragement because it is so important to purchase your own home. Like, I wish that we been did this, but our prayer was that the Lord would, um, our prayer was that the Lord would allow us to be able to purchase our first home by 30 and... He won't be 30 until August. I will be 30 until September. So I say that he definitely answered our prayers. So um, I guess I'll show you guys some pictures of the house once we get there. What, Nadra? And then, um, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Hey, guys. We are finally at the house. We had a long journey to pack and so much stuff going on. But we're just unpacking right now. Trying to get situated. Can I look upstairs? Yeah. Somebody at the door? Oh. I know, you don't have to keep asking. Hey guys, it is, sorry, it is, um, hey y'all, so today is actually Saturday. I got so tired yesterday of vlogging, vlogging, whatever, so I just, I couldn't, I was just, it was so much going on. As you can yeah. tell in the background, it's okay. a little messy. A lot of messy. We have to like get this house organized and straight and 
We have so much to do. Um, we are on our way to the grocery store right now. Uh, not the grocery store, like a few stores. We got to get like curtains and all kinds of stuff. I don't even know what we need to get, but I know we need to get a lot of things. But, so, I'll probably do like a little walkthrough later. We'll see. Hey guys, so it has been a couple of days since I vlogged. Um, I'm going to still put up the full video, but the house looks different. Can you see it? We finally have the couch looking nice. And those things right there, they're like my DIY. Uh, they were um, like DVD stands. They were dressers um, once upon a time. But now I'm going to paint them like this pretty chalk white and then on the inside it's gonna have shelves for my dvds and we actually have two of them so the other one is right over here with my ugly com with all this ugly crap but <laughs> um for the most part the living room looks so much better there's still so much more we have to do i'm painting and everything and then this is the dining room um those are all the books we still need to put away. That dresser there will be turned into like a little mini storage thing. So like I'm gonna paint that that same white so that they can kind of like match because the walls are gonna be like this really pretty gray. And then the um, I'm gonna put like baskets inside of it and it'll be like uh, dishes, like just a place to store like extra dishes. And we haven't put the table in here, but we're just using this for now, like for the kids to eat. But of course, the dining table is going to go here. This is my other DIY bench. It used to be like this other little bench and a cushion on it in my living room um, at the old house. But I'm going to put a piece of wood over it and stain it and stand, sand it all down. And then it'll be like, it'll match my dining room table. And then here is the kitchen right there. Um, the kitchen's pretty much done. Of course, I'm going to paint. I'm going to do like a backsplash behind the the, the sink and the all like behind the cabinets and stuff. Um, I did do a DIY though. I made this DIY curtain. Uh, hold on, let me turn the label because I don't think you guys can see it. Um, I did a DIY curtain here, but um, I was really, and I no so if you guys want to see how to make one of these, I can totally make another one and show you guys like do a DIY one. Um, but yeah, I made this one with just glue, with hot glue, and I made this little thing um, to like put on it. So I'll show you guys like how I did that. So yeah, um, but then I'm going to do like an actual tour on the kitchen once I get everything straight and like the whole house and just, I guess, show you guys like room by room, but I want to show you guys this because I love it. I got this from Target in the little dollar section. It says milk, butter, bread, and eggs. How freaking cute is this? It's so cute. And it matches my little, um, these little thingies, whatever they are. But anyways, yeah. So... I guess that's it for this video, and I will continue to vlog throughout the week. I don't know. I'm trying to get used to this whole vlogging thing. It's it's like invading my privacy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to keep up with it, and I don't know. We'll see how this goes and how it works. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, oh my soul. Worship His holy.